to my world. I'm out in the garage in my workbench. Guys, you understand the mess, right? Ladies, you'll never understand the mess. I'm going to do a video today about yard maintenance. Basically, sprinkler maintenance in your yard. There's things that you need to know, especially if you're a new home buyer here, but even the uh, older people, home buyers, am I saying that right? If you have a pre owned home, it doesn't make any difference. You order the home, it's still the same maintenance, but you're further down the road. You'll understand when I do the whole video. This box, by the way. Sam Adams. If you don't have one of these at your house, and if you're a kind of a do-it-yourselfer on some of the minor things, I am. Um, you're you're going to need all this stuff in this box eventually. You should have a box like this in your garage somewhere. But if you're the kind where you hire everything done, everything, then this video will not be for you. In here. I show you here I have all types of fittings elbows splicers these are for capping things off you might say what's this good for well remember I had the bushes taken out here uh, by the front now I call it the porch well there's water lines in there that whole area all the water uh, lines go around the house to water all the plants so when you do what I did those water lines has got to be taken out they don't have to be taken out but they got to be at least capped off so that the water feed going in there stops at that point I had them all removed and then we capped the water line off and that's what these are for like I said if you hire everything done you don't need to do any of this here's another bag of stuff hard to do this holding holding this this is actually a water sprinkler head here that goes into the ground the water lines in the ground and this here screws on it and then out of the top up here is the water sprinkler itself I guess sprayer pops up out of the ground this does not move but it comes out of here I got extra ones. Here's a brand new one here that I kept. The thing's already in it. This is brand new, like I said. Now I notice it's red. They come in different colors. Red, blue, green, and I don't know, maybe yellow. I'm not sure. But um, the color code is for how far away it will spray. Some of them will spray, say, I don't know, 20 feet away. And then the next one, say blue, it'll, it'll spray 15 feet away. Next one is, I don't even know, green, it'll spray 5 feet away. And then you can also get the different heads. Some of them will spray, you can adjust it. They'll spray 180 degrees. Or you can dial it down to where it sprays, uh, I don't know, 20 degrees, fan-wise. Others are, out here on the side of my house I got them, I don't know what you'd really call them. But they only spray to the right and to the left. They do not spray straight out. So they spray up and down my flower bed over here where I got bushes. And and those are all things. And I always say if you want to get any of this stuff, go to True Value in Wildwood over here. They know everything we've got here, and that is the best store to get stuff for here. They know what you need. And I, I really I really push that Wildwood store over there. Those guys over there are really great. This, these are extensions. What I'm going to show you here is that's the underground pipe. And that's a one inch extender put into it. Right there, that's the pipe. That's the water pipe that carries the line uh, to the water sprinkler. And then that on where it goes up where the threaded part is your water sprinkler head would screw down on top of that and I'll try to get more information on here I'm sorry about the audio it uh, just didn't work somehow now that's the new head right there and that all would go under the ground and it would screw on on the water line just like that and all the way up to the bottom 
of that is where you would bury it up to there that's what I'm trying to show you it goes up to there and the rest of that would be above ground so it would look like that water goes in here that sprinkler head goes on there that thing right there will, with water pressure will come up just like that and that goes all above the ground and then you put the sprinkler head whichever one you need the, the 20 foot the 15 foot the different color codes you can see it right there that just screws on you can unscrew it you can also turn that to where you have a narrow fan of water or you have a very wide fan of water uh, that's what mine are now there's many different types of sprinklers and sprinkler heads so these are pretty typical in my district of what they use in the ground when you buy a buy a home but you can upgrade them and a lot of them have they've upgraded them to the type that goes back and forth like a water sprinkler and i'm seriously considering those myself in certain areas of my yard uh, but uh, these here are adequate they're very inexpensive to maintain if you do it yourself uh, the, the different heads cost an average of a dollar to two dollars a piece the sprinkler itself, the whole head that goes into the ground that I just showed you, um, it depends on which ones you get. Uh, I get the water saver ones, and so they cost me a little more. Usually like 4 or $5 dollars for the whole assembly. That's not bad, I don't think, and it makes taking care of my yard pretty easy. But remember, they are plastic, and over time, the water will actually deteriorate the head now those are the one inch risers it comes in a big long tube like that but if you look each one of them is one inch and you snap them off if you need two inches you snap two of them off so they're very very easy to use and very very good to have those around just to have them around this is how far you bury it here's another one with the brown color code and here's the ones that I use in my yard they're red and this is how the one inch extenders would work and this is the special one that I was trying to explain where the water would squirt to the right and to the left it does not go out into the yard and I use them in my bushes to water the bushes that are in a straight line next to the house well, let me do this over again because I don't know if I had this thing set right um, I have sprinklers in this area right here I know they're here, I just don't know where they're at because you can't see them anymore. The ones here pretty much follow the lanai and they sprays that way toward the bushes. And the ones over here where the bushes are at sprays this way toward the lanai. The ones in the bushes I'm not worried about. I pretty much try to keep them shut off anyway. But there's this area here, is I know they're here, they go down in between our houses. Those in the middle here spray toward the house. And the ones up here by the house spray this way. I can probably find them, but these here, I really don't remember where they're at. They're up here, here, I don't know. So I'm going to put this up and go start the uh, water sprinkler so I can mark them so I'll know where to dig them up. Well, I know you didn't catch everything because I, I only set the sprinklers for one minute, but I got one here. That's how I mark them anyway. You can do it any way you want. And I had one here. This here don't mean anything. If you can see this little white line, our neighbor had cable put in and they, and they mark where the cable's at with that. Cable box is right there. Uh, and one up here by the house popped up see how far below the grass line that is see there's the donut and then this one over here is even further down see it's down there 
And so this one, when it comes up, the sprayer is spraying directly into the grass. It's really not spraying this area. And these are the Okay, as you can see, that sprinkler needs to be adjusted. All of these were buried. See how deep they were buried? You turn them on to make sure they're, they're spraying right. Here's what I was talking about. See how this sprinkler is hitting the top of the grass? It's really not spraying out like it should. It's not too bad yet, but actually that could use a one inch riser. This one's okay now that I got it dug up. This one's okay also. It's spraying clear over there. You can see the ones in the bushes are spraying out. They're coming over here. All of them are coming over here. That sprinkler head looks like it needs to be cleaned out a little bit. That one over there's got a couple limbs in the way I need to trim off. Uh, what else we got? Here's one in here. Uh, that's doing fine. So all these are okay in the bush. I don't have to worry about them. The ones that's along here, <laughs> I can't see them either. I don't know where they're at. So I'm going to have to turn these on to see if they need cleaned out. But this, this is just an idea to show you some of the do-it-yourself stuff. There's the donuts. When you, why a donut? I'm trying to show this the best that I can. When your yard's brand new, the head, the bottom of this head right here, is up here by the grass, just below the grass level. So when a guy mows your yard with these heavy uh, mowers they've got, he's driving over top of this head, which puts pressure straight down onto the water pipe. And it happened to me once, they broke it. Not this, it broke the water pipe down to the bottom of the uh, um, sprinkler head. And I had to dig it all up and put a splicer in and fix it. Also, if you don't have these, even if he doesn't break the water line, on a zero turn radius, if he happens to have the front wheel on this and turn, this is green right here, by the way, this green part, he'll spin it. And when he spins it, your whole water system is um, not shooting in the right direction, the right angle, it, it changes everything. And if you're a snowbird, and you leave, my suggestion is you really should not turn the water sprinklers off in the summer because the grass will die and that's really bad. It's expensive to get grass put in down here. Get a home watch guy to keep an eye on this stuff. Home watch people only charge you 40, 50 bucks a month and they do a tremendous amount of stuff for you for that amount of money. And uh, that's what I did and I never had any problem. He'll keep an eye on that because here's what will happen. If he drives over top of that sprinkler head and breaks that pipe, let's say for some reason, or he unscrews the top of that to the point where it falls off, your water's gonna come on, water's gonna shoot up 30 feet in the air right there, and if you don't have somebody keeping an eye on your place, you're gonna have one hell of a water bill, and I wonder why. Because every day that, that your water sprinkler comes on, hundreds and hundreds of gallons of water's being wasted right there. So if you're buying a $200,000 and up piece of property and you're going to be a snowbird, quit cheaping out. Get yourself a home watch guy. And I've said it before, don't depend on your neighbors to do it uh, because uh, they're retired too and they may decide to take off for a month or two and now you got nobody. So get somebody that you're paying a company to do and they always have somebody to, to do that for you. You know, in the villages, this is one thing that happens down here. Everybody wants to start a home watch service. And I'm not sure you can depend on most of those people because they're retired. And if they have a family member up north that for some reason gets sick, has a stroke, needs to, they need to get up north, they're taking off. And unless they got somebody to take their place, which I don't know if they do or don't, it's just things that you need to check into. If something happens, you have somebody to take your place and do this. Somebody trustworthy, because remember, they have a key to your house, or they'll have the combination to your garage to get in your house to check everything. So you want to make sure who goes in that house has had a security check, criminal check. You don't know who's going in that house, and you need to know. That's just uh, how I see it. So, with that being said, you can see I'm digging everything up in the yard doing the same thing here. 
me show you how deep some of these are. See, this one here is still in pretty good shape. See how close to the top of the ground that is? Look at this one. Here's this. The ground's clear up here. See how deep they get? I'm doing all of them through the whole yard over here. I got another one somewhere. I have to turn them on to find them. I had to turn them on to find this one. But there's another one over there somewhere. And I'm going to turn it on so I can mark it. Thing over here. What I need to whack is up there in the center. You can see a couple of dead fronds up there. That thing's got uh, thorns on it as sharp as needles. I don't want to climb up there at all. So I'm just waiting for the stuff to fall off. <laughs> I hate to say that, but I'm not kidding you. That thing's got needles on it for, for thorns. Maybe I can get a, a short shot of that for you in case those of you wanting to move down here. This is called a Sylvester palm. I ain't kidding you, those things will hurt you. And I'm not I'm not climbing up there because all it's gonna take is one slip and a fall, and it's gonna be out's time for me. Next door we're getting some uh, crown molding put in. I think we'd like to do that someday too. Always costs money. I'm telling you updates around here. The spending of money down here never comes to an end. You, you might sit back and go, well, I'm not doing it. He's over there doing the same thing. He's cleaning out his uh, uh, water sprinklers, getting those they spray right. It's uh, it's something you got to do every so often. I'm, you know, if, unless you want to hire somebody to do it, I don't know what they charge. I don't even know who does it, but I know they got people that'll do that for you. So I'm going in and get me a beer and sit down for a while.